I'm reading from John's Gospel, chapter 18, verses 1 to 27. After Jesus finished this prayer, he left with his disciples and went across the Kidron Valley to a place where there was a garden. Judas, the traitor, knew where this place was, for Jesus had gone there often with his disciples. The Pharisees and leading priests had given Judas a large detachment of Roman soldiers and temple police to seize Jesus. Judas guided them to the garden, all of them carrying torches and lanterns and armed with swords and spears. Jesus, knowing full well what was about to happen, went out to the garden entrance to meet them. Stepping forward, he asked, Who are you looking for? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. Now Judas the traitor was among them. He replied, I am he. And the moment Jesus spoke the words, I am he, the mob fell backwards to the ground. So once more Jesus asked them, Who are you looking for? As they stood up, they answered, Jesus of Nazareth. And Jesus replied, I told you that I'm the one that you're looking for, so if you want me, let these men go home. He said this to fulfil the prophecy he had spoken. Father, not one of those you have given me has been lost. Suddenly Peter took out his sword and struck the high priest's servant, slashing off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Jesus ordered Peter, put your sword away. Do you really think I will avoid the suffering which my father has assigned to me? Then the soldiers and their captain, along with the Jewish officers, seized Jesus and tied him up. They took him first to Annas, as he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest, that year. Caiaphas was the one who had persuaded the Jewish leaders that it would be better off to have one person die for the sake of the people. Peter and another disciple followed along behind them as they took Jesus into the courtyard of Annas' palace. Since the other disciple was well known to the high priest, he entered in, but Peter was left standing outside by the gate. Then the other disciple came back out to the servant girl who was guarding the gate and convinced her to allow Peter inside. As he passed inside, the young servant girl guarding the gate took a look at Peter and said to him, Aren't you one of his disciples? He denied it, saying, No, I'm not. Now because it was cold, the soldiers and guards made a charcoal fire and were standing around it to keep warm. So Peter huddled there with them around the fire. The high priest interrogated Jesus concerning his disciples and his teachings. And Jesus answered Anna's questions by saying, I've said nothing in secret. At all times I've taught openly and publicly in a synagogue, in the temple courts, and wherever the people assemble. Why would you ask me for evidence to condemn me? Ask those who have heard what I've taught. They can tell you. Just then one of the guards standing near Jesus punched him in the face with his fist and said, how dare you answer the high priest like that? Jesus replied, If my words are evil, then prove it. But I haven't broken any laws, then why would you hit me? Then Anna sent Jesus, still tied up, across the way to the high priest Caiaphas. Meanwhile, Peter was still standing in the courtyard by the fire. And one of the guards standing there said to him, Aren't you one of his disciples? I know you are. Peter swore and said, I am not his disciple, but one of the servants of the high priest, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, looked at him and said, Wait, didn't I see you out there in the garden with Jesus? Then Peter denied it the third time and said no. At that very same moment, a rooster crowed nearby. You want to take away, Paula, what you got from that verse? Yeah, I think the most powerful thing that you can see here is like, First, you can see Jesus never denied his, what, who he was. He knew his purpose and that dying on the cross meant fate for humanity. So I feel like even if he knew like the painful death and the, he was scared, he never denied his name because he knew he was meant to be on that cross because of us. And then we see the comparison with, with Peter that denied him three times. The comparison of like how, how Jesus can be an example for us yeah. of how he persevered till the end knowing the consequences and I know like Peter denied him but he denied him in a fearful way he dealt mm -hmm. it he dealt it he got scared and it shows you when you focus on 
your fear, you focus on what could happen to me, then your priority is straight off. Your focus is actually straight off Jesus, but it's on yourself, it's on your issue. So you see the comparison between Jesus, you see comparison of Jesus and Peter, where Jesus was scared, but he still stood his ground and he still, God, you're my priority. And so whatever you have called me to, I will do it. Even though he was so scared. Well, Peter was also scared, but it shows you the difference of like, you have this intersection. And so you get to decide if you want to turn left or right. When you get to that intersection, are you going to run to your fear? Or are you going to run to him? Wow. Prayers go out to you. And I just hope uh, God touch your heart through this encouragement. Goodbye, guys.